Well, hi everyone. Welcome to ENR 5270, Soil Fertility at The Ohio State University. I'll be your instructor, Dr. Jim Ippolito. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. So I grew up in New Jersey. I went to school at the University of Delaware for my bachelor's degree in agronomy with a focus on plant sciences and microbiology. And then I attended Colorado State University for my master's as well as my PhD in environmental soil chemistry quality. Then I worked part-time as a, a non-tenure track professor at Colorado State University. And then following that brief seven year stint, I worked for the USDA Agricultural Research Service as a research soil scientist in Idaho for about 10 years. And then I just so happened to be at the right place at the right time and ended up back at Colorado State University from 2016 to 2023 as a professor of soil fertility, soil health. And now I'm starting my new journey at The Ohio State University in the School of Environment and Natural Resources as a professor of soil fertility and soil health. <clears throat> I've taught soil fertility for the past roughly seven or eight years, and I've been in the soil fertility, soil health arena for my entire career, over 30 years. So that's a little bit about myself. Um, what's the course all about? The course will provide you a broad overview of soil fertility with respect to a number of different factors that occur in soil. So we're gonna talk about some of the basics. So bring everyone back up to speed again in terms of pH, electrical conductivity, cation exchange capacity, limine acid soils, etc. And then we're going to jump into the 17 essential nutrients necessary for plant growth. And we'll talk about nutrient cycling with respect to biotic and abiotic factors that affect nutrient availability for plants. And at the end of the semester, you should be able to describe some of the primary factors that govern those transformations within soils. You need to be able to identify specific considerations with respect to cycling and management of nutrients, and more specifically, how to manage macronutrients and how to manage micronutrients within soils or cropping systems or ecosystems. Obviously, I hope it's obvious that by the end of the semester, you'll be able to diagnose nutrient deficiencies and tell someone how to overcome them. You should be able to, based on literature, Google searches, et cetera, come up with a fertilizer and or lime recommendations for numerous crops that we grow or plants that we grow. And then if we have time, identify those situations that have led to excessive nutrients within the environment. How do we overcome those issues as well? So the expectations of this course are relatively simple and straightforward. I drive off of learning objectives for each unit. If you know the objectives, you'll do well on the quizzes, which are online, and you'll do well on the exams. If you're face-to-face, -face, they'll be in class. If you're online, will be take homes. <clears throat> There's also 10 issues of the week that describe real world issues that we face outside of the classroom where you'll apply the learning that you gain within the classroom to solve real world problems. And then for those of you that are graduate students, there's a required video. This is something that has occurred in this class in the past, and I like this idea. And there's a, the video will be a short video on any soil fertility aspect that you are really interested in. And we'll talk about that more later. Lastly, what I want to talk to you about are how do you get a hold of me? Well, you can get a hold of me by email, hippolito.38 at osu.edu. It's in the syllabus. You've probably already seen a few emails from me already. You can use Carmen Canvas and the inbox feature to send an email to me directly. I have an office in 412C Cotman Hall. If my door is open or even cracked, you can knock on it and feel free to come in. I have an open door policy. I don't have any open office hours. I've found that those don't work very well for myself and it doesn't work very well for students. So contact me when you need help and I'm very quick to respond. With that, 
Thanks for your attention. I'm looking forward to getting to know all of you.